Eh. Have these folks ever heard of a vacuum? Bleach? Burning the whole thing down? Well, it's finals week, so arson's probably not on the agenda. But let's check in on the gentlemen of our favorite frat to see how they're preparing. And while we're on the topic of finals, we just might have a thing or two to say about phenols. Let's get started. Phenols are basically just benzene rings with a hydroxyl group on them, which makes them alcohols. That's why our bro Chad is drinking some Coe's Light right the corner of this benzene-shaped table. When naming phenols, the alcohol group will always be bonded to carbon-1, and the molecule uses the parent name phenol instead of benzene. To number the rest of the carbons, go around the ring such that the other substituents get the lowest possible numbers, just like normal. Phenols are much more acidic than regular alcohols, which we can remember by the acidic lemon wedge Chad put in his Coe's light. He thinks he's sophisticated. The benzene ring of phenols makes them stable when they lose a hydrogen, which is what makes them more acidic than regular alcohols. The conjugation in the benzene makes it so that the negative charge of a deprotonated phenol is shared across seven atoms rather than just one. However, aside from being acidic, phenols are not very reactive, hence this very unreactive brother who doesn't seem to be making much progress on his studies. Thanks to the stability of the aromatic ring, there's not much that can be done to phenols aside from oxidation reduction reactions. This brings us to our next brother, who, well, is not quite on track to graduate this decade. In fact, I think he's been here since the 90s. Those crushed cans he's reducing represent that phenols are often easily reduced, like almost as easily as his brain cell count. And the old rusty cans at his feet represent that phenols are also easily oxidized. Basically, phenols gain and lose electrons easily. For our purpose, there are three important types of phenols. The regular phenols we just looked at, quinones and hydroquinones. Quinones have two carbon-oxygen double bonds, just like the two double-toothpicked olives in this gin and tonic. And you can remember the name quinone by the quinine in this tonic. For the record, quinine is not actually a quinone, but they sound similar, so we're sticking with it. Note that the two carbon-oxygen double bonds in a quinone do not have to be directly across from each other, or para. They can be ortho on adjacent carbons instead. Let's check out the next table to see our last type of phenol, hydroquinones. Well, this doesn't quite look like studying, but it sure looks more fun. This spilled water should help remind you of hydroquinones. Hydroquinones are benzenes with two hydroxyl groups, which is why this table has two brothers at its corners holding Coe's lights. Oxidation reduction reactions can easily convert a molecule from a regular phenol to a quinone to a hydroquinone and back. Phenols are oxidized to generate quinones, and quinones can be reduced by two electrons to form a hydroquinone. Because these molecules are so good at transporting electrons in redox reactions, they play a key role in the electron transport chain during cell respiration. Ubiquinone, aka coenzyme Q or CoQ, is a quinone that gains two electrons from NADH at complex one of the electron transport chain. This electron transfer oxidizes NADH to form NAD+, and reduces ubiquinone to a hydroquinone called ubiquinol. Ubiquinol then carries the two electrons further down the electron transport chain. To help remind you that CoQ oxidizes NADH to NAD+, this fella is draining NADH energy drinks into empty NAD bottles as he studies computing quantities. Well, at least one of these guys will be prepared for finals. Let's take a page out of his book and wrap up phenols. Phenols are benzene rings with an attached hydroxyl group. They're acidic and often involved in redox reactions, but otherwise the conjugation of their benzene rings makes them pretty unreactive. Phenols can be oxidized to form quinones, which have two carbon-oxygen double bonds. 
and quinones can be reduced by two electrons to form hydroquinones, which have two bonded hydroxyl groups. Because phenols are good oxidizing and reducing agents, they play an important role in the electron transport chain. Coenzyme Q is a biologically important quinone that oxidizes NADH to NAD in the electron transport chain. Well, this is certainly a better place to party than to study, so I'm going to stay far, far away from here until the after finals fiesta. Later, folks.